Okay guys, GLL back for yet another video. Little exciting video for you here about Rony Boney. Um got this one requested recently. Um all I can say is I can call him bullshit right off the title. Because the title says Halo Reach Remaster, DMR Bloom, or Hit Scan DMR. Brackets title updated. Question mark. No, I'm not I'm not gonna hold back. What is the fuck is a hit scan DMR? Really? There's no such thing as a hit scan DMR. DMR having bloom and not having bloom both use hit scan. They're both hit scan. That's how Halo games work. You aim at somebody and wherever the fucking bullet is aiming at them, whether they're standing right in front of you or miles away across the other side of fucking Valhalla, it will hit them. Okay, you don't have to compensate for the angle of where they're going to be when the bullet's going to fucking reach them and all that shit. There's no fucking kill of the wind. It's not Battlefield, old Battlefield, where you have to aim and there's bullet drop and all that sort of shit. No, where you fucking fire is where the fucking bullets go, right? That's what hit scan basically means. That's what it basically means. Right? So... Both the DMR with the bloom and without the bloom have hit scan. So you can't call the one DMR hit scan and one bloom. Because the one with bloom has hit scan. <sighs> okay. So this video, I already know because of what people have said that this is a pro TU update video. Okay, anybody that's been watching this channel for a long time knows my feelings on the TU update. Knows my feelings on 343 and how they fucked up Halo Reach royally. And how that was the first signs of them being a disastrous fucking studio and how it was going all downhill from here. Okay, confirmed them with Halo 4's multiplayer. Confirmed with the fucking MCC and then confirmed with Halo 5. Okay, they've never proved us wrong since they updated Halo Reach. Okay, Halo 1 Anniversary with the Reach maps and stuff, that was kind of cool, but the Reach maps were done by Certain Affinity. They weren't actually done by 343. Certain Affinity was part of Bungie, a lot of them. Fucking Max Oberman, Legendary, worked on Halo 2 and all that. Created all the interface. So... Basically, it was in safe hands with those guys, right? 343, everything they've done. Halo 4, disastrous multiplayer, okay? Horrible fucking art style. Unbelievable, right? And they fucked up Reach. They fucked up Reach when they got their greasy mitts on it with the title update. A title update that nobody actually playing Reach at the time actually liked. Because the playlist that would fucking slay it without the fucking title update had way more population in them. Why was that? Because more people enjoyed that particular playlist. Because they didn't want the TU bullshit. Okay. Now I often call the title update the TU update. That's a mistake. It's not the TU update because the U stands for update. But you get the picture. Right. It's like that Saints Row thing where it's like, it's Los Conales, not the Los Conales, because Los means the in Spanish. You know. If anybody gets that reference, I'll be amazed. Right? So, let's check out the video. Let's, let's see the damage. Let's see the damage, because from what I'm hearing, this is an absolute train wreck video. Okay? This is a train wreck video. Okay? And I know people are going to say, oh, he's got more likes than dislikes. And I know he's going to say that himself. Oh, more people fucking like it than dislike it. Yeah, keep liking it. Keep liking it. You know, who gives a shit? Okay, that doesn't make somebody right because of how many likes they have. And I'm only putting that in there because that's exactly what Roni seems to think. He seems to think that because 90% of people agree with him, therefore... He's right. Interesting concept. Interesting concept. Same thing with Rundown recently. Okay, let's check out the video. 
Hey, what's going on guys? Roni Boney here. Thank you for stopping by. This is a nice little short video uh, just detailing my opinions on whether or not Halo Reach should have a bloom or a title updated DMR, which means no bloom. Bloom, if you guys don't know what it is, is where the reticle opens up every time you shoot. So okay, so let, let, me, let, me, let me just fucking scale back here. The title update for the original Halo Reach has some bloom. It doesn't have full bloom, it has reduced bloom but it still has some bloom. So when they had no bloom, that was the biggest fuck up in history. That playlist is called the Halo 1 anniversary playlist and nothing works fucking very good in that playlist, all right? There is zero bloom in that playlist, but the actual title update in Reach has some bloom, bloom reduced. So I don't know if he means a new update, but he's, when you say title update in regards to Halo Reach, one would assume you mean the title update from when 343 did it in the first place. Even though they had to change it because of the fucking shield bleed through. But let's not go there, right? It becomes less accurate. Uh, so it's much harder in Halo Reach to get headshots. Those meaningful headshots you need to finish a kill up. Now a lot of people will argue you just need to... No, that's not true. It depends on how far they are away from you. And it also depends on how you pace your shots which he's now going to say so i don't always get out there right you can still get headshots if you're at close range with a dmr even if you're spamming you can pretty much get a headshot okay the bigger problem was with the actual pistol right but pace your shots and fair enough yeah you need to pace your shots but a lot of the time when you're in the thick of things and you know you're going to get a kill and every other halo you get a kill um, in Halo Reach, sometimes it's not that case, and it can lead to a lot of raging, and it leads to a lot of really great Halo players not being able to effectively play the way that they're, they're used to. And a lot of people will say, just adapt to this, adapt to this, but, you know, honestly, after this many years of having the DMR's hitscan in Halo 4 and Halo 5, games which I don't like, and El Dorito, a game that I do like, I... What? That's wrong! The, the fucking DMR with Bloom has hitscan! What are you talking about? Are you saying... Right. You can say a weapon is fucking hit scan, and that means like a separate term. But in reality, they both are hit scan. Because what hit scan actually is, if you use the correct fucking terminology, they're both hit scan. They both have hit scan. That's how the weapons work in all the Halo games. All the weapons. I do think that a hitscan DMR is a much better idea. So the history behind the title updated DMR. So when 343 Industries actually took over the mantle of Halo Reach, when Bungie decided to step away and obviously create Destiny, which we know now, which was a failure, um, we know that 343 Industries essentially said, we're going to title update this. Everyone has been asking for this, so we're going to do it, which was... No. Bullshit fanboy idiots like Roni on the forums were asking for it, not the actual people playing the game, which is why the playlist without the update is more popular than the one that is updated. Kind of a precursor. People thought that this was a good idea and that 343 were, were on the board. No, some idiots on the forums thought it was a good idea. Straight away now. We all know that in the past they, they haven't been at all. And uh, it looks like this time around, I think, 343, you really need to listen to people and, you know, you kind of have to weigh it up yourselves and decide whether or not you're going to do... 343 themselves are not actually updating this game, right? Isn't it this other studio? So shouldn't it be the other studio that you're talking about? Classic playlists and title updated playlists for Halo Reach. If you're not going to do that, then they're going to pick either the Bloom DMR or the non-Bloom DMR. But the non-Bloom DMR still has Bloom. It's reduced Bloom. It's not removed Bloom. You still have Bloom on it. Okay? It's not just a visual thing. There is actual Bloom on the DMR in the title update. That's obvious. To anyone that plays the game, that we know this. So what are you talking about? You don't even know what you're talking about. They have reduced the bloom. They have not removed the bloom in the title update. 
I think it should be the non-bloom DMR. It should be the title updated DMR. Well, yeah, because you're a fucking idiot. From back in the day, who was on the forums like, I think the game should be like Halo 3. It was fair. It was more consistent. It added more consistency to Reach. And Reach was a game that was highly inconsistent for Halo fans at the time and even going back to it now. I've played a lot of Halo Reach recently. Well, then how the fuck can you not spot that there's a fucking bloom in the title update playlist then? Bullshit. And I've noticed a lot of inconsistencies. You know, double beat downs. You know, no shield bleed throughs, that kind of thing. And I understand what... Right. That's not an inconsistency. The no shield bleed through... It... That's not an inconsistency. Okay, right. Let me try. Let me try and compose myself. Let me try and compose myself. Okay. Double melees are not a thing in Reach. Never been a problem. Had this discussion with Favin two years ago, or maybe even three years ago, whatever it fucking was, and we did a debate. Okay. Halo 3 has more of a problem than Halo Reach. Because in Halo 3... You can shoot somebody and then beat them down with one punch. You can't do that in Reach unless you take the shield off, right? So, melees are a bigger problem in Halo fucking 3, okay? And you can still double beat down in Halo 3, right? It's harder to beat someone down in Reach than it is in Halo 3 because there's no shield bleed through. There is no shield bleed through. So, beat downs are harder to do in Reach. Way harder. This is a fact. Do, do people even play these games? Do people even play them and then come up with the conclusions? Or do they just talk about what everyone else says? Like, I mean, seriously, this is retarded. Let's try again. Let's go back a little bit. All right? Consistencies, you know, double beat downs. Which he doesn't no have. Shield bleed through, that kind of thing. And I understand well, the no shield bleed through, you say it was an inconsistency. I was in an inconsistency. That's consistent. It's consistent that there's no shield bleed through because there is no shield bleed through. Because there's no shield bleed through in the title updates because it had to be removed. It had to be removed because it created problems with other weapons, notably the shotgun, where you could shotgun somebody across the freaking map for no fucking reason. Because they broke the game with the title update. The title update is broken. The vanilla reach is superior. So why not just use the vanilla superior reach? No, let's listen to idiots like Roni, who don't even play the fucking game, think there's no bloom in the title update, think that it's inconsistent, that there's no freaking shield bleed through when it's not even in the fucking game. If it is happening in the game, that is a glitch. It should not be happening at all. Because it's not supposed to be in the fucking game at all. They removed it. Supposedly. Jesus Christ almighty. And double melees again. I thought we were done with that. I really thought we were done with that. I thought we'd put that to bed. Even Favin doesn't open his fucking mouth and spew shit like that anymore. Okay, but here's Roni. Double melees. Brilliant. Brilliant. You've learnt nothing. You've learnt fucking nothing. I mean, even going back to it now, I've played a lot of Halo Reach recently, and I've noticed a lot of inconsistencies. You know, double beat downs. You know, no shield bleed through. I don't know how double beat downs will be an inconsistency. Either they are consistent, and they're a problem, or they're inconsistent, and therefore they're just part of the game. I mean, how, how does that make sense? Shield bleed through shouldn't be in the game. So if that is inconsistent, that means there's a problem that it's actually happening. Show, show me some gameplay. I don't even know what he's talking about. And why the fuck, ladies and gentlemen, while we're halfway through this video, would anybody playing Halo Reach who actually knew what he was fucking doing be walking around with the goddamn assault rifle? Anybody who isn't a fucking noob who's never played the game in their life instantly switches to the fucking Magnum because it's a stronger fucking weapon. Not to mention, this isn't even at close range. Look at this gameplay. He's nowhere fucking near him. He's nowhere freaking near him. You'd pull a pistol out there in fucking Halo 4 or whatever, you wouldn't stand there with a fucking machine gun like that. That's either a syndrome of too much Halo 3 or too much Halo 5 or too much of fucking both. That's what that is. 
That is just incorrect. That's not how you play this game. Kind of thing. And I understand why they had the double beat downs because of the armor abilities. But you need to give us some See? layer of consistency with Halo Reach. That's not an assault rifle or, you know, plasma weapons, that kind of thing. And the DMR and the needle rifle are those things that Halo fans go to for precision weapons. You know, it's we don't like having Bloom. Essentially, it, it's not... I don't like you don't like having bloom i like halo reach the way it fucking is and i am also a fan of halo i'm a fan of all the halo games stretching all the way back to the original in 2001 nobody complained about the bloom apart from the minority of diehards on the forums and pros and shit like that but you can have playlists without it and when they did that it was more of a fuck up like it I think it just leads to just random gun battles. People that don't deserve to get a kill can just kind of look at Roni, you don't deserve to have one kill in this match. What are you actually doing here? Using a, a machine gun in reach, you could wipe your arse on that fucking assault rifle in this game. What are you doing? And then you're going to judge other people on whether they should be getting kills? You don't even know how to play the game. And it just allowed, it adds to a lot of raging. And I don't want to see that happen because if that comes out... That could potentially bring Halo down a little bit more, and I think that Halo Reach and MCC... Uh, Who are these utter noobs? Games. How does a guy walk in there with a goddamn sword, looking at the fucking other wall, and then just get blown away? <laughs> you show PC fans exactly what Halo is all about. Oh, the yeah. The fairness that Halo can promote. It has some of the best, most fair gameplay, most balanced gameplay... I think out of any first, but if not, the I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are you saying the people that play this game on PC are not going to be diehards from the console? Are you actually trying to tell me, Roni, that PC fans who are ultra picky, ultra picky, we all know it, max settings, high resolutions, high frame rates, 4K, 1080p, 60 frames, whatever, they are on top of their fucking graphics and their fucking processing power and they want perfection no self-respecting pc elite person actual legit elite pc person is going to want to play a game that is nine years old fact i don't know where these guys are going to come from i really don't okay you're going to have some die hard halo fans that will follow it anywhere they will follow it from the console to the PC, there's already some Halo fans on PC. Yes, there's a cult following. But where are these numbers of people? Where are these new fans that have never played Halo Reach before? How many people have never played a Halo game? Bear in mind, if you are PC exclusive and have been your whole fucking life, there has been two, count them. No, sorry, if you include Halo Wars, three fucking Halo games on PC. Are you telling me that... They haven't played these games already. They not know what to expect with this fucking series. Most balanced gameplay of any first-person shooter out there. Maybe not. Maybe Doom, Quake, those older games. But as a title that's going to be in the forefront of people's minds, Halo has the most balanced gameplay. I think that is out at the moment. So you want to keep. It's not out at the moment. It's a nine-year-old game. That kind of title there. You want. You want to be consistent with Halo. And you want to start on the right foot with this time, you know, because think about it. There's been a lot of BS with Halo over the years, so we don't want to give anyone any more reasons to complain. So in my opinion, I... Th so in your opinion, Rooney, the way to give people no reason to complain is to not make it the way it was when it released, is to change it before it even comes out. What a great idea. I'm glad you're here to give us these genius ideas, Roni. Right? Don't make it like people remember it. Don't make it like it was when it came out. Bear in mind, this is the Master Chief Collection that is releasing. Right? Which you're so fucking proud of that it's a fucking uh, game split into pieces and there's a service model, even though you hated that with Halo 5. Halo 3 is coming, Roni. Halo 3 is coming. So why make Reach the same as Halo 3? This is flawed logic. You're getting your Halo 3, you're getting your Halo 2, you're getting your Halo 1, ODST, you're getting the whole package, Rooney. You're getting Halo 4. You're getting everything. Halo 5 is probably on its way too. Soon. Right? They already got the Forge mode on there, right? So why fuck up Halo Reach? <laughs> 
The people that like Halo Reach liked it the way it was. That's why the population stayed so fucking long on the Xbox. Because they liked it the way it fucking was. So why would you ruin it for the people that actually liked it? Mind blown. You didn't like it? Fine. Go play Halo 3. You've got Halo 3. You've got Halo 2. You've got Halo 1. This is why Halo is so fucking dead. Because the people who make videos like this don't have a fucking clue. They don't have a fucking clue. I don't know if any of them are fucking paid to make these videos. I don't know if any of them are just fucking out for themselves to make profit. I don't know what it is. But whatever it is, Roni, okay, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but you don't know shit about Halo Reach. You don't know anything about Halo Reach. And if you want to debate me about Halo Reach, I will smoke you. I'll smoke you under the table. You don't know anything. I played that game for years. I have like 4,000, 5,000 fucking games on it, right? I, I know more about it than most. All the achievements, 43 big team battle on whatever it fucking was site. So I know a lot about it. You don't know anything about it. You're walking around with a fucking assault rifle. That's all we need to know. That's all we need to know. We don't even have to know what you're saying because you are walking around with an assault rifle in Halo Reach. A weapon that anybody who plays it for more than a fucking day knows is useless. I think that the title updated DMR is useful. But I know that in the campaign it's going to be the, no the Bloom DMR. So that kind of begs the question, what is going to happen? It's kind of a gray area, and I really just hope, and this is a video really to try and help promote the fact that I think that the title updated DMR is going to be better for Halo. Uh, so let me know. Well, you're wrong, and the reason you're wrong is for reasons stated, and because you don't have a clue what you're fucking talking about. But, but, being as I don't give a shit about what happens with the freaking multiplayer on the freaking PC... It might happen, and I won't care on that basis. However, you are an idiot who doesn't know shit about Halo Reach. And that's why I made this video. Let me know what you guys think. Really, really short video. Really short. But it's just something that uh, I've been seeing uh, talked about on Halo Waypoint and Reddit. And I think that it's something that we need to discuss as a community. Right, yeah, it's discussed on Reddit by the same ass backwards people from back in the day who went on the forums... And got it changed in the beginning, even though they weren't even playing the goddamn game because the fucking population was good. The population got worse. They split the fucking player base up, not as much as they fucking could have done because most people carried on playing the normal shit. But a lot of people left because there's some playlists that you can't fucking play without the title update. So they fucking sabotaged Halo Reach. And it was because of ass backwards people on the forums that don't have any lives and know what the fuck they're doing. I've said this before. I said this way back fucking 2014. They are the worst kinds of fucking people. I swear down. They are the worst kinds of people. Now before it comes out because obviously they have the capacity to add the no bloom DMR or the bloom DMR. And I want to just put my opinion out there as to what I think is the better decision. I'm going to play the game anyway. But... But, but, but Roni... You, you don't know shit. We can see that from the gameplay and what you're saying in this video. You don't know anything. You know, how much I play the game could depend on what mechanics are in the game. So. But you can just play Halo 3. That's what you want to do anyway. That's why you're running around with an assault rifle. Because that's what you do in Halo 3. Because it's ridiculously overpowered in Halo 3. In Reach, it's wank. Let's just see. Anyway, thank you very much, guys. Leave your opinions down below and leave some arguments or some debates or challenge my opinion on this, on whether or not you think that uh, a Bloom DMR is... I swear down, Rooney, you've just done a whole video about the DMR and not use the DMR once. Right? How does that make sense? It's more useful for Halo and whether or not it kind of showcases more skill or whatever it is. I know there's lots of arguments on both sides of the camp, so... I really do want to hear about it, and it's just really nice to feel positive about Halo again. So, uh, this is... You're living in a dream world, Roni. Roni Boney. I'm going to be taking it easy lately, and, uh, yeah, I'm working on my uh, Halo Reach playthrough of the campaign on Solo Legendary, so... That's going to be coming to you guys very, very soon. So, I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye. Okay, so does that imply you haven't done Solo Legendary Reach before, like someone like me? 
who did it, I don't know, in 2010 when it came out. So let's review. Okay. Pistol, assault rifle, pistol, assault rifle, pistol, assault rifle, assault rifle, assault rifle, assault rifle, assault rifle, assault rifle, plasma repeater, which I wouldn't be seen dead with it on my corpse in the game because it's more useless than the assault rifle. Assault rifle, assault rifle, assault rifle, assault rifle, sword, okay, fair play, sword, assault rifle, assault rifle, assault rifle, assault rifle, assault, no, sword again, well played, assault rifle, assault rifle, assault rifle, sword again, assault rifle, assault rifle, assault rifle, sword, a sword, sword, and assault rifle, assault rifle, assault rifle, assault rifle, assault rifle, assault rifle, assault ri and, and no fucking DMR. The whole video was about the DMR not used once in the gameplay. Are we, are we, are we, are we, are we, are we believing this shit? Are we believing this shit? What was this? Was this TU updated? Was this not TU updated? What playlist was this in? Was this a custom game? I mean, Jesus Christ, man. You didn't use the DMR in the whole video. And it's about the DMR. It's about the balloon. There you have it. A video about the DMR. Hit scan DMR, which isn't a thing because if you Google hit scan DMR, the video that comes up is Roni's video and then a load of old posts, which doesn't actually call it a hit scan DMR. He's literally made that shit up. Now, I don't know if there's some Reddit post going around where he's picked that name up from somewhere, but I can't find it, right? I cannot find it. So I don't know where to get that from. Both of them use hit scan, whether it's got Bloom or not hasn't got a clue about reach and does a video for five minutes where he talking about the dmr where he doesn't use the dmr once in fact doesn't even use a bloom weapon in the entire thing plays it like he's playing halo 3 on guardian against a bunch of noobs and they are a bunch of noobs because anybody that was playing like that actually in the game would get their ass handed to them because anybody walking around with the assault rifle might as well wave their dick at the opposition okay so i have no idea what i just witnessed but that's one of the weirdest videos i have ever seen i'm legit here now because what's going on in the background okay i don't know where that gameplay came from but it does not fit what is going on with the video it has no bearing on it and i know people are going to say well your videos don't have any fucking bearing on them absolutely but this video is about a weapon in the specific game he took the time to get gameplay from the specific game but it doesn't feature the fucking weapons he wants to fucking display where was the dmr where's the needle rifle and where's more fucking action with the pistol that would be an educational fucking video where you're actually saying, oh, look, this is how it works in this one. This is how it works in this one. No, it's just, this is how it is. Uh, here's me walking around with an assault rifle, which no one in their right mind would do in Halo Reach. Here's me picking up a plasma repeater, which no one would fucking do. I wouldn't be seen dead with it. And in the meantime, he's just there, to, like, basically, he's watched one of Favin's old videos. He's like, hey, yeah, double melees. Oh, uh, yeah, shield bleed through. And he doesn't even know what he's talking about. It's the most inconsistent mess of a video I've ever seen. And I'm being generous when I say that. Generous. That was that was abysmal. It was a disgrace. Like if that if, if you're a Halo fan, Roni, that video was a disgrace. And you can say what you want about me, you can say I'm a fucking knob, uh, I'm just salty, blah blah blah. Whatever. That video was a disgrace. That's all I'm saying. Feel free to subscribe, guys. See you later.